Hello dear children, welcome back to science class. We have learned in our last class about length and we have also understood what are the various units in which we can measure length. Length can be measured in centimeter, millimeter, meter and kilometer. We use centimeter and millimeter to measure small distances while long distances can be measured in kilometers. We have also learned that 1 centimeter is equal to 10 millimeters, 1 meter is equal to 100 centimeters and 1 kilometer is equal to 1000 meters. Now let us learn how can we measure length of various objects. Now look into this picture here. Here we have a small card. Now how can we measure the length of this card? This can be done with the help of a scale. So we have learned that short distances can be measured with the help of a scale. So for substances that have small distance like that of a paper, pencil box, tiffin box, a duster, all these can be measured with the help of a scale like how you see here in the picture. Now let us see how can we measure the length of this small card. In order to do that, first you need to place this scale along the length of the card. So this is the length of the card. So now you need to play, if you want to measure this length, you need to place the scale along its length. Like how you see here in this picture. Now when you place the scale, make sure that one end of this card that you see here, it should be at the point zero of this scale. So one end of this card should be at the point zero that is marked on the scale. So that is how you need to place this card and the scale. Now you can see this object exactly from the top of this scale. So your eyes should be exactly on top of this scale if you want to get the correct me measurement. So your eyes should be exactly on top of the scale in order to get the correct measurement. Then as you keep it like this, note down the other end of the card. As you see here, the other end of the card is at this point in the scale. So you need to mark or you need to note down the mark that is there on the scale which is coinciding with the other end of this card. So this is one end which is at 0 cm mark and you need to check at what point or at the what mark in the scale is the other end placed. So as you see here the other end is at 0.5. So this small line in between two big lines. So we have already learned that 0 to 1 it is 1 cm, 1 to 2 it is 2 1 cm, 2 to 3 it is 1 cm and in between 2 and 3 you can see a medium line. So between two big lines there is one long line here. So that is considered to be half cm. So now you can check the measurement of this card. So that is this point is at 0. Now it has gone till this mark that is this middle line. Now let us check the measurement 0 to 1 that is 1 centimeter 1 to 2 again 1 centimeter and 2 to this half line so that is 0.5 centimeter this is half of 1 centimeter so 1 plus 1 plus 0.5 so total you get 2.5 centimeter so the length of this side is equal to 2.5 centimeter now, if you need to measure the length of the other side, you need to place the scale like how you see here in the picture. Again, one end of this card should be at the point zero as you see here. And you need to look into this ruler exactly from top of this ruler. Then only you will get the correct measurement. And then you need to note down where exactly is the mark that coincides with the other end of the card. So here this is the other end of the card. This card is coinciding with this mark in the scale. Now let us measure this length. 0 to 1 is 1 centimeter. 
one to two one centimeter two to three one centimeter three to four one centimeter so total we have one one two three and four centimeters and here we have a half centimeter so we write it as 4.5 centimeter so the length of this side is equal to 4.5 centimeter so this is how we measure the length of objects using the scale now for example if one end of your scale mark on that one end is worn out or if you do not have one end of the scale like how you see here in the picture if you have a broken scale then how do you measure length of object even if you have a broken scale we still can measure length of objects so in order to do that you need to place the card or any other object whose length you want to measure along the length of the scale like how you see here in the picture so here in this scale we do not have that mark zero so that mark zero that end is broken or consider that that mark is worn out so in such case the card is kept on any other mark on the scale like how you see here in the picture so here it is kept at the mark 4 so as you see here one end of this card it is kept at the mark 4 now you need to check where the other end of this card to which point or to which mark it is coinciding so as you see here, the other end of the card, it is coinciding with the mark on the scale at this point. So this is point 6.5 centimeter. So here this is 4 centimeter and here this is 6.5 centimeter. Now in such cases, in order to measure the length of this side, you need to subtract these two marks. That is, you need to subtract 6.5 from 4. So the one end of this card is at 4 cm and the other end is at 6.5 cm. So in order to get the correct measurement of this side, you need to subtract these two values. So 6.5 cm minus 4 cm is equal to 2.5 cm. So 2.5 cm is the correct measurement or the correct length of this side. So now we have learned how can we measure the length of objects with the help of a scale. Now let us learn what are the precautions that we need to take before we measure length of objects. The first thing that we need to keep in mind is that you should not place your scale at an angle like how you see here in the first picture. Your scale should not be in a slanting position like this, but your scale should always be in the straight position like how you see here in this picture, which means you should keep the scale along the length of the object that you need to measure. So it should not be slanting or it should not be at any angle, but it should always be straight. Then only you will get the correct measurement. And I have also told you that your eyes should be exactly on top of the scale. That is exactly on top of the marking. Then only you will can measure the correct reading from the scale. The next thing is that you should not place the scale at a distance from the object that you want to measure. So here we have the card and card is placed at a distance from the scale. So here you can see there is a small gap left behind in between card and scale so there should not be any distance between scale and object that you want to measure it should always be close to each other then only you can mark the point that is there on the scale exactly with the two ends of this object that you are going to measure the length for so always remember there should not be a distance but it should always be close to each other so these are the Things that we need to note before we start measuring length of an object.